Einstein gave us the fourth dimension, space-time. He showed that space-time expresses gravity and gravity expresses space-time. The chris dreyer theory extends that understanding to a new assumption. Space-time is the fundamental structure of this universe. Occam's razor is the principle that the simplest explanation is the best. What can be said to be more simple and fundamental than space and time? The physical universe consists of space, energy and time. Without space and time, you cannot have energy. Therefore, the basic assumption in the chris dreyer theory is that space and time is the fundamental structure of the physical universe. This is in direct opposition to the standard Big Bang model. It says that the universe started in zero time and zero space. Fortunately, many modern theoretical physicists explain Big Bang differently as something happening in present time. They observe a continuous creation and destruction of energy in space at all times. This is called virtual particles. If space-time is the fundamental structure of the physical universe, it must have the property of creating and destroying energy, as we observe in these virtual particles. The chris dreyer theory is inspired by multiverse theories. Most multiverse theories assume that when we make an observation, the wave function collapses and a new physical universe is created. I disagree 180 degree. What we see as the wave collapse is when the external wave and the opposite internal wave resonates in the orbit of the electron. What's my video on the standing wave structure of matter in space for clarification? In the chris dreyer theory, the many worlds are already here. Every living unit with some sort of consciousness, from cells to organisms to human bodies, has its own separate mental parallel universe operating in the physical universe in present time. Every living conscious unit is its own parallel universe and its fundamental structure is space and time. This unit has the property, the ability to create and destroy, hence the word Chris Dreyer. You, a space-time unit, are your own universe and you have the ability to create and destroy. Cause and effect, up and down, black and white. Destroy is a bit of a misnomer. Countercreation is a better expression. The property of the space-time unit is the ability to create energy and countercreate energy. This creation of energy is in this theory defined as positive energy. The countercreation of energy is defined as negative energy. The physical universe consists of positive energy. The mental universe consists of negative energy, which is an exact duplicate mirrored image of the organism's creation of positive energy. The mind and consciousness of a living organism is stored in negative energy as mental images, an exact mirror duplicate of the organism's creation of positive energy, the physical universe. All physicists calculate with positive energy, a growing number calculate with negative energy, including Stephen Hawking. The energy level of the physical universe is close to infinite. The energy level of the combined entangled mental universes is close to infinite negative energy. That leaves the total energy of all combined universes at zero energy. Einstein showed that space-time is the fourth dimension the chris dreyer theory extends the fourth dimension to close to infinite dimensions. Watch the next video called Electromagnetism and Antimatter to find out where exactly this negative energy is located.